Tonight, COVID-19 remains in retreat in nearly every state, with new infections down about 90 percent from the January peak. The number of vaccinated Americans ticks higher each day. The CDC says 253 million Americans have had at least one dose. Now, the science behind some of those vaccines could be deployed against other deadly diseases. Dr. John LaPook takes us to the lab. The Pfizer and Moderna vaccines went from blueprint to rollout fast, but not as fast as many think. Ready? This type of technology has been in the works for decades. Carnegie Mellon research scientist Catherine Whitehead says this technology involves mRNA, the genetic recipe for making proteins, and the package, fat particles called lipids that surround and protect the mRNA. And they kind of work like a Trojan horse. The cell says, I recognize you. You're fatty, I'm fatty. Come on inside. That's right. The mRNA tells the cell to make a protein that triggers an immune response to the coronavirus, so the body recognizes the virus if it ever shows up. Other mRNA vaccines against malaria and HIV are in the works. And scientists hope the same technology can teach the body to make its own treatment for a wide range of diseases. Because many diseases are caused by proteins that aren't working correctly, we can ask the cell to make the correct version of the protein by giving it the instructions. At Whitehead's lab, researcher Jillian Melamed is making mRNA to test a novel therapy for type 1 diabetes, where cells that usually make insulin are destroyed. We can ask some other cells that are still functional and living to make the insulin instead. You're basically co-opting the normal synthetic machinery of the body. That's right. It's the power of asking for help. Other research might help the tiniest among us. While nursing her infant daughter five years ago... And I started trying to learn, like, what's in this breast milk? Whitehead envisioned using mRNA to program breast cells to produce specific proteins. So it would be a way of non-invasively delivering therapeutics to, to an infant. It's amazing technology. Technology that could one day usher in a revolution in drug delivery. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, Pittsburgh.